Good afternoon all, it's another post bag. Now, what's in this box? I think I know. Oh, lots of polystyrene, that's going to go everywhere. And uh, that polystyrene was protecting this. It's uh, a little circuit board with four potentiometers and two microphone sockets. And uh, this unit comes complete with instructions. Hmm. Not going to be able to make much sense of that. Now the main chip on here is a CD2399 and there are also a couple of these NE5532 uh, dual low noise op amps but this CD2399 is actually, uh, it would appear, a clone of the PT2239 No, that's not quite right, it must be 2399 so this must be an error and the PT2399 is this. It's a Princeton Technology uh, IC, and it's an Echo Audio Processor IC uh, utilizing CMOS technology. It has an internal memory of 44K. Uh, now, I'm not sure whether that's 44K bytes or 44K bits. And this thing is typically used to provide a reverb for karaoke machines. So looking around this board, I'm thinking that uh, these are just two microphone inputs for when uh, two karaoke singers are trying to entertain the crowd. You could have two microphones plugged in simultaneously. I'm guessing that this dual op amp is going to be the microphone preamp for those two microphones. Now the input for power says AC ground AC, and there's actually a bridge rectifier here with some smoothing caps. Uh, there's no regulation. This thing says it can take anywhere from 6 volts to 20 volts AC. So I'm uh, supposing that inside the karaoke machine box, there's a power amplifier and a mains transformer. And this just takes a tap off the main tra mains transformer to power the reverb circuit. Uh, there's a three pin line in here, right in, left in, ground. There's a three pin line out. And I'm guessing that this uh, op amp is used somehow in the uh, line out driver circuitry, right out, left out, ground. And there are four pots. And because they're all marked in Chinese with Chinese symbols, I don't know what they do. So here's the item on uh, eBay. It's a karaoke reverb microphone amplifier board using the PT2399 and NE5532. Uh, it says pretty much the same thing up there. This was $11.32 free shipping from uh, Chen SWG95. Now, if you do a search on eBay for the PT2399, of course, you get the chip appearing quite a lot. It's very cheap. I mean, five pieces there for 99 cents. Uh, plenty of those. If you search for PT2399 module, you start to get all these uh, karaoke boards. Now, most of them have uh, three pots. Uh, this one is the same as the one I bought, which has four pots. Interesting to know what the fourth pot does. There are others that only have two pots. So uh, I need to find out what these four pots do. So here's my setup. Uh, lots of batteries here for power going into the power socket. I'm using DC, of course. Uh, it doesn't matter that this says AC. It's just going through the bridge rectifier diodes. Uh, output, I'm only taking one of the outputs because I can't remember how these three pin uh, plugs are wired. So I'm just going mono for this. Uh, a couple of speakers. I think when you connect to the uh, innermost and the outermost pins, it comes out of both speakers. Now I don't have a microphone connected yet, but um, I've discovered that you can have quite a bit of fun with this thing, even without the microphone, because if I turn this pot right up, it seems to have above unity gain. And the sound's building up. Let's turn that down a bit. And you've got the delay time here. So you can see it's pulsing there quite slowly. And that's pulsing more quickly. And because there's above unity gain, eventually that gets very loud. 
Now I'm not quite sure what these pots do yet. They're probably line level and mic level. But yeah. That's quite fun, isn't it? Now I don't want to move everything off my bench, so I'm actually going to open this one uh, right now because as you can see it says one piece microphone. Uh, so let's try and do that without rearranging my setup on the bench. One piece microphone. So uh, this one is a very cheap dynamic microphone, just has an off and an on. Uh, cable with the XLR connector and a mono jack. Let's just plug it into the karaoke board. Right, uh, microphone in hand. Uh, now this pot, uh, the first one appears to be line level, so that doesn't do anything. This one appears to be mic level, so I'll turn that one up. I've got the, uh, no, I haven't quite. I have now got the longest delay time. And this is the, this is the reverb, reverb level. level. And interestingly, it has this over unity thing. So you can make it build and build and build. And that's terrific fun. Now let's slow the, uh, speed this up. And of course, as you move it, you get a bit of um, pitch transpose. So that's the minimum delay. Now, let's turn the gain up a bit. Uh, sorry, people who are wearing headphones. Yeah, that's not a bad reverb. Is it really reverb though, or is it just echo? Echo with feedback. Let's slow that down a bit. Put a bit more mic gain on. Put a bit of feedback in there. Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, right, so let's just look at where this uh, microphone came from. If you're looking for a cheap microphone, uh, this one is just $4.99, free shipping. And this one came from Globalizational Horizons. Hmm, that's a mouthful. Right, well I could sign off with a rendition of Frank Sinatra's My Way, but uh, I don't really think anyone wants to hear that. So I'm just gonna say, cheerio.